and uh, we we do have a very pretty lady in the, with us in the studio. Uh, classic. Yeah, and a classic lady as well. Uh, we want to welcome the one and only our very own Diddy Honours, yeah? We do the beautiful, the super talented, the ever so humble, <laughs> Omotala! <laughs> welcome to the Morning Rush. Thank you. How are you? Great. Are you, I, it's like, you look the same every time we see you. <laughs> like in a good way, like you don't even seem to be growing older or aging. You just look the same age every time we see you. If there's something you're doing, something you're eating, something you're drinking that you want to just tell us. Well, I'm getting ready to join the cast of Vampire and Diary, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to stay castable. <laughs> that, that way <laughs> All right. Welcome to the Morning Rush. I want to say thanks for coming through and Thank also you. uh, your timing is very good. Yeah. Uh, you're going to be eight years old tomorrow, so thanks for coming through. Congratulations, Beta Fair. Well, I can't Thank believe you. it. I was here when you just started, wasn't yeah, I? Yeah, I Amazing. think you were in 2009. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So you took a break for mm -hmm. a while. I mean, we did a reality show on TV, right. but you weren't really active in terms of you of the big screen. Mm -hmm. Was that on purpose or what? But it was. I mean, um, I, I wanted to take some time off to develop my business. Mm -hmm. And so I did a series of movies, you know, um, in anticipation that when I'm away, these movies will come out. Okay. And for some very funny reasons, they just didn't come out at the time, which I is very serious. weird. Yeah. I mean, now the movie, we did that in London right. with um, Will Johnson and, you know. The yeah, guy. I heard about that. Yeah, it's still not so out. What happened to it then? You know, it's finished. It right. was actually even premiered in London, but it just it hasn't was, come it, out. On general release. Mm -hmm. okay. It's All just right. not but, out. But you got paid, right? Oh, I did get paid. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's very important then. Yeah. But then recently, this year, you're in the movie um, Alter Ego. Yeah. Yes, Um. the the poster art, the campaign poster, you were looking very uh, uh -huh. sexual. Uh -huh. Half of that's you was I'm like in a judge, <laughs> half of you were like, you were in like a judge robe and the other half of you was in like some kind of bra, bikini, something. It was a... Mm. So, okay. please, so, please lingerie. explain that. Lingerie. There you go, lingerie. lingerie. Oh, I think we say Nigeria, lingerie. Lingerie. You're wearing some lingerie. Yes. So for those of us that haven't watched Alter Ego, please explain yeah. what that was about. It was a very interesting picture. Well, well, the picture explains the character. The character was a dual character. It was, uh, you know, was, split the movie was about, yeah. Split, yeah, it was about split personality. Yeah, pretty much, you know, like, um, it was about PTSD, which is post-traumatic <coughs> stress disorder. Right. And that's something you get from, you know, trauma, you know, right. and in her case from um, a case of abuse while, while she was a child, you know. And so we're trying to throw light on that um, okay. topic, on that subject, um, that, you know, people actually do get um, this sort of uh, mental illness, you know, right. from trauma. But a lot of us don't pay attention to this because it's something you can't see, yeah. you know. So we, when someone doesn't run the temperature and, you know, they're not physically ill, you don't know that they're ill. But then these things happen and then they sometimes stay in there till maybe for a lifetime, yeah. uh, if not treated properly. There's still a lot of uh, stigma in terms of mental illness in Africa. In Africa. You know, not just in because, mm -hmm. I mean, people, I mean, in a country of our size alone, right. you know, based on the law, averages and probability yeah. there'll be a certain amount of people who will have that some sort of disorder mental disorder yeah but we seem to hide it away we do and we never seem to uh, first and foremost it. we don't even diagnose it that's the yeah. first problem the problem is first it's not diagnosed and then where people now suspect that this is a problem you know yeah. where someone is mentally you know um, unstable the first thing is, oh, go and pray, oh, go and, yeah. you know, do something, exactly. you know. Oh, and that's that. crazy, even good. They're yeah. Taking back to the, the village doctors. The village doctors yeah. and stuff like that, you know. So, village I mean, now, prayers are always good and everything, but then seek medical, you know, help, seek, yeah. seek professional help. And whilst, you know, you're doing anything else, make sure at least that you're getting, you know, proper help. And talk to people about it. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Sometimes it is not your fault. Most times, actually, it's not your fault. It's because some kind of trauma has come into your space. And so you need to deal with it. And most times, people have mental illness because they actually do not talk about it. Exactly. That's actually the That's problem. It's a compounded yeah. issue. Yeah, because you, yeah, it's a compounded issue. It's because you don't talk about it and you don't release. You don't, you don't let it out. So, it, but the, things, the thing is, it's like talking about things is not encouraged here in our country. And I don't know why. It's like you've got to put your head down and just... Like they say suffering and smiling. You've just got to yeah. put your head down and keep going. And keep encouraged. going. You're not encouraged to talk about things. And I, I don't know. I wonder how we're going to get to change that. But do you feel like, as you know, super famous, almost for that now, that you, you feel like you're responsible in society, all the movies you do from now on, you feel like you have to highlight the issues we're facing in reality? Do you feel like you, like you have to cover these kind of things now? Well, I don't 
think I have to. I just feel like I can't. <laughs> you know, I, yeah. I can't. Simple. It's just, it's just that. I have the, by God's grace, I have the background. As you know, I'm a human rights activist. I've been doing this for years. I'm very exposed in that light. I've, I'm well traveled. I'm well trained on it. It's something. It's my life. You know, I do more even with humanitarian works and speaking and all of that around the world than I even do in entertainment. But a lot of people don't know. People only know get to know the ones I post. Yeah. But I, I, I'm practically traveling almost every month wow. around the world doing conventions, speaking engagements, and stuff. I've seen some of them. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's pretty much my life. You know. So it, it would be. It would be, um, it would be a sin, pretty much, to say if I can't merge both worlds, that part of me and entertainment, which I also do, you know. So for me, it's a, it's a no-brainer. It's something I can do. So I, I am on the lookout for, you know, for projects that are almost edu entertainment, you know, in nature. But then I, I can't bore people because also I'm an entertainer and I yeah. still have to be interested. Yeah, so you my, my, you feed them in a, exactly. In a, in so the challenge way. is to look for um, uh, filmmakers and writers that can bring those two um, ends together and still make it extremely interesting. In fact, even more interesting. Okay. Now we've got a brand new movie, uh, Golden Effects, our brother, Kunle Afalai, who's yes. on his way here now. Yes, yes, yes. Shout out to Kunle. Um, Kunle you know, Afalai. You know, you know, we have to, when he comes here, we say it in a certain way. It's, it's Kunle Afalai. <laughs> Kunle Afalai. <laughs> Kunle Afalai. <laughs> Uh, Genius, that one. So he is indeed Golden Effects. Uh, right. Movie's called Tribunal. Tribunal. W without uh, giving too much of the plot away, well, give us an idea. Give the plot away. Give <laughs> why why can't you give it away? So people can pay money. Could Look, listen, everyone uh, is going to watch Tribunal. Yeah, yeah. It's cleaning out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so no matter how much you talk about it, they're still uh, going to want to go see uh, it for themselves. Uh, um, it's not something I can explain. You have to see it. To, you have to experience it too. It's. I think it's one of its kind. It's. I think the first. It's very engaging. It's very da dialoguey. But then it's still not boring because the problem is you have movies that are very heavy on dialogue and then you go oh wah, wah. you know this is just going to bore yeah. my life to death but this dialogue is interesting very interesting very and and very very engaging you know uh, you have this a story about albinism period yeah, yeah. it's about albinism and discrimination and stuff like that but it's treated from a different kind of angle um where the albino himself is now the one um, being the aggressor. Well, that's what you will think. She, she got, it does anymore. I'm not going to tell you everything, but then that's it. So the, uh, the albino and the guy who plays this albino is, I mean, we call him the goldfish. Um, that's his. You need to see him. You need to experience him. Like I said, he is he is a revelation, and I think he's going to take over the industry. Woo! For the first time, I'm going to have an albino that's going to be a leading man and like a love interest. Oh, it is that hot. Everyone in Tribunal brought their A game. Okay. Period. All right. Well, sounds, sounds fantastic. We're going to catch that. All right. Uh, so we and I think it's just a six cast movie or okay. so. Pretty much okay. a summer manager. So it makes it even more intriguing. Okay. You need to see to understand it. It's the future. Can you, can you tell sure. us who else is in the movie or are we not allowed to know? Oh, of course you can. Know myself. Okay. <laughs> my humble self. Uh -huh. um, and you have Nobert Young, the legend. Mm -hmm. You have Bimbo Mano, the legend. Everybody in that movie, except maybe two young ones, like the goldfish and then Adelawi. I call her Asha. <laughs> Asha, the girl is just sharp. Um, and then we have um, Carol King. Okay. Oh, wow. that lady. She was, she was the Madam Chairman. Oh, I, uh, and Kalea Flying, she just walked in. Yeah, he did. Did you hear the way he was saying your name? Kalea Flying. Kalea Flying. Good morning, Mr. Flying. Good morning. Well, wearing a pink morning, shirt, right? by the way. I have been. Okay. Uh, pink is a new black. Pink is a new black, my man. And I'm with a pink lady. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, well done, well done. Welcome, Kalea. Yeah. Golden Effects, so this movie. Um, you, your movies are being very. You, you, you're going on a lot of social angles now. Yes, I mean, socially responsible. Uh, yeah, I like you know? it. Um, you know, I listen to. I've been listening, and um, you know, Motala talked about uh, the fact that she's been doing a lot of humanitarian mm -hmm. uh, stuff around the world. I mean, I think we all, to a large extent, yes, we are entertainer, but there are certain issues that. Um, you feel responsible. You must. Uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, albinism is something that we all grow with. Yeah, in and in some African country, it's a major issue. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, the, it's a life threatening. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. you know. The general manager of my company is an albino, mm -hmm. and I work with this guy every day. And I've known him for over twenty years, and not for once has he ever called to me that okay, he's an albino. But mm -hmm. you know, growing up, I know how like we're here and now albino walked in. It's a way we all look like okay, yeah. this is different. This person is different. And they all go through a whole lot, you mm -hmm. know, and it, it, it's high time we started 
uh, putting some of these things into what we do yeah so that it's some sort of infotainment yeah you know kind of content and yeah. uh, it goes beyond just the message will be heard exactly. by a lot of people mm -hmm. absolutely all right nice one so where is, is it on release now where can people catch a movie uh, it's in it's cinema. In every cinema right now. All over Nigeria. In fact, they're increasing the time. Exactly. <laughs> the showing times. Is that the, the pressure is that much? Yeah, we've been getting very good reviews because, uh, I mean, uh, another you know good thing to this is no, nobody, people have never seen this kind of casting before. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's so strong. I mean, imagine a more sexy, mm -hmm. you know, alongside Bimbo Manuel. So it's like three or four three generation, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, the Bimbo Manuels and Nobati Young, uh -huh. you know, Oma Sexy, uh -huh. Adelaria's generation, then this new guy who played the Albino, yeah. you know, I mean, this is like his first major work, but okay. I mean, every it was a collaborative work and everybody is excited about it. Okay, we, we sound pretty excited. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I think it's something we must get to see. I will not support uh, the uh, Nigerian film industry, industry as well. Yeah. So mm -hmm. big up, big up. I wanted well, to ask, because the topic is so sensitive, did mm -hmm. you, ha when you were looking for research for the content of the film, like what, did you guys do anything like out, out of the box? Did you, did you, did you go, like, go into like the community, go into society, speak to different, maybe Albino people or maybe the lead? Did you kind of speak to him about his personal experiences? Because I'm sure you know, it's something we need to talk about, but I'm sure it must have been very sensitive as well. Uh -huh. So how did you prepare, like, for the movie? Uh, well, uh, you know, for me, I, I try to be as detailed as possible. So as part of the pre-production, mm -hmm. I wasn't I wasn't even sure of who to cast, you know, as the albino. Uh, so I threw it open, you know, I put it online, an audition, look, uh, an audition. Mm -hmm. I'm looking yeah, for albino. Media. So a lot of people send their pictures. We shortlisted and I invited the, you know, like the listed, the shortlisted uh, guys. Mm -hmm. And also, like I said, I have, my GM is albino. He lives with one. So, <laughs> so I asked him a lot of questions. We went online, you know, we did a lot of research, you know, all these a lot of people believe albino shouldn't eat salt. Mm -hmm. But this one in my office eats a band, uh, you know, the <laughs> book of food. Yeah. Like every where is that day. coming? Why, where, where is that made? Where is that coming? It's, so it's something we all know. grew up with. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, you Maybe you don't grow up in Lagos, but <laughs> it's a uh, Lagos uh, this thing. Yeah, it's it's a thing. Thing. Okay. It's a, even online, you know, someone, some of the comments, you know, that I have. I've seen yeah. a lot of people were asking, are, are these ones eating salt? Yeah. How come they look so beautiful? Because, you know, when we had the premiere, a lot of them turned turn, turn out. Yeah. Like hot Real yeah. yeah. You know, and in the film, we also talked about all of this stigma. You okay, know, sure. there's a lot of superstitions tied to, to being yeah. an albino. So we addressed all of those issues as well in a way that. It's people not just boring. think they're high maintenance <laughs> and they're really not. Yeah. Yeah. They're just not. Yeah. It just depends on you know, who it is and how much they know, what mm -hmm. the information out there is. All right, good stuff. We're going to be talking about that, giving you all the information about the movie. So it's a great way to uh, start the weekend off, go and catch the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, all cinemas are everywhere. You might even get to see Kunle. Well, I, mean, that's, you know, I know he's a businessman. He is. Uh, selling, selling tickets <laughs> himself. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> to make sure that money comes yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah. But this in. week we're, we're going to some of the cinemas and we want to go to Abuja okay. or, you know, also to... Uh, to promote the film uh, uh, because people requested that we come. Uh, but you know, they will be seeing a motor line in some of the cinemas, they will yeah. see Bimbo Manuel. Yeah. You know, we're all going to that's coffee because to, uh, that wasn't uh, part of the contract. <laughs> no, it's not even that. It's just, it's hectic doing that one. Yeah, yeah, oh it my is. goodness. But you know, it's going to bring people to the, to the cinema yes, once, so. once they know you're there. But it is. All it takes is one person to take a picture of you at the cinema, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. It's you, our new reality. You mentioned it? Ghana, so um, are there plans to kind of get this movie really shown outside of Nigeria? Because I mean, Obviously, as you mentioned, albinism affects people everywhere, all over the world, and these superstitions are everywhere, not just in mm -hmm. Europe. So I think it would be really great. For Before he answers that, the do you know that they're actually Caucasian thing. albinos? Yeah, yeah, I know exactly. I just found out that in no. all my research, I never knew that. Well, she affects like like everyone. She, I like the yeah. way what you just said. Now is very crucial research. Uh, there's a whole bunch of, uh, I mean, slew of actors and actresses. Uh, who don't really understand what that means mm -hmm. when you want to when you get the role when you want to you know try and audition for a role right. they need to do that mm -hmm. you know um, and uh, leading on to this a lot of things like I can throw at both uh, both your and Kule as well I, I feel that um, the the talent is being subjugated subdued mm -hmm. as opposed to the the 
social media aspect and whatnot. Do you feel that? You know that. Who are you talking about? Name the names. <laughs> you know, you get to see a lot of things coming up. You know, not just on social media. Every, every weekend, you, you you see a headline in the paper of some actress or actor saying, "Oh my, this place my my favorite part of my body." But you know. <laughs> but you enjoy reading them. I see you, Alisa. <laughs> you read all of them very well. Very, 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 exactly. Very, 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 very annoying. At the same time. But I said, and my question, what I mean, I said, can you act? Do you know how to act? <laughs> yes, you have nice breasts, yes, but, but do you know how to act? <laughs> Do you feel it's, it's yeah. getting out of hand? Yeah. No, I mean, we all know that sex has always sold in cinemas and, 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 and TV. Entertainment. Yeah, yeah entertainment. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's now, what, what do you think? Let's start with you. No, I mean, for me, look, it, like, what the girl or whoever it is yeah. was trying to do is to get people's attention. Oh, what is this? That's a subject? Uh, I'm always no, the last one. No, <laughs> no, 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 I'm speaking in general now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and um, some of these people, I mean, if you read about them or research them, mm. you realize they are red carpet celebrities. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, uh, but for me, if you look at all my role, all my films, look, I'm not, uh, I'm not saying I can't feature sex in yeah, my film, yeah. but I could do it in a way that, you Next know. to the story. They make exactly. more sense. Yeah. You know, it exactly. You, sense. You, you don't have to. So Rely that's on that. But won't say you can't show. Right. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I mean, and also, we all, there are different genres of film. Right. And as a director, you also need to cut, carve a niche for yourself and say, this is how I want to be perceived. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is what I want to be known for. for yeah. You know, some people don't care. They just want... Whatever is happening whatever and saying, raining. Right. And, um, you know, we don't but, belong But also, that. you see, I'm, I'm going to flip it now because, you see, Omotela, you also uh, were uh, uh, guilty of, of encouraging such. Well, um, people say, "Oh, I'm a sexy." Then I think that okay, you understand me now? I, I was setting you up there. I said, I said, oh, he's setting me up. I said because. Well, let me tell you. Some of them are really looking up to you and say, "Okay, she got this far." But I have she, content. She if you don't have content, then and, and, and if you got it flaunted, but you are sexy now, do you want to hide it? <laughs> do you want me to exactly? Oh, I am very you. happy with all of me. Exactly, you <laughs> and that is part of me. <laughs> but that should not be all of you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Should there be should awesome. be other aspects and other layers to you. Okay. Yeah. I tell women, okay, it is okay to be sexy. Right. It is okay to be confident. It is okay to love your body. But bring more to the table. Yeah. yeah. So there we go. So there's a lesson there for our superstars. Main, 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 All right, got to talk about. Uh, someone asking you your most challenging role on Motala. I mean, uh, who yes, that? from Chinedu. Hi, I mean, Chinedu. You've done. I mean, you must have done like over hundred films by now. <laughs> How many films have you done? Well, I, well, the last time they checked, we said over 300. <laughs> 300! I was even the one counting. 300! <laughs> oh my gosh! 300! Well, look, wow. there was a time when we were working, that's what we did. Yeah. Okay. There was a time when you didn't know what the title of the movie was. No, you knows. just get that, like, this is the script. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but we've gone past that now, long time ago. 300! Anyway, I've done a lot of, uh, you know, Can a lot you of every single one? Movies. Ah. Oh! I could count like 20. Okay. You know, funny enough, I am very, very particular about the movies I do. Right. Even when we were churning them out, like, you know, I mean, there was a period where we went crazy, I, mm. I have to admit. But even then, we still try to. But most of my career, I'll say, um, what, 21 years now? Mm. I'll say at least 19 years of that um, mm. has been very intentional. Very, okay. I mean, very intentional. You've chosen your mm. Very, your very intentional. Okay, what so, would you I say, mean, if you're looking back now, I mean, um, I mean, you've still got many more movies to do. But mm -hmm. looking back now, as a body of work you've done, what are you most proud of? Which, which role? Or which movie? Every movie, the last movie I do, I'm extremely proud of. Okay. Um, so which one will you say, okay, that, that one you are on For fire. different reasons. Yeah. Movies, different movie, mo movies have brought me to different places in my life. Right. Um, there was a time when Mortal Inheritance was the, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. at, at some point. Then after that, for me, there was a Yoruba movie called, um, 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 uh, what's it called now? Um, um, what was that movie oh. called now? Okay. Uh, Anyway, the Yoruba movie I did, you know, um, no rival, okay. you know, yeah, no rival. It, you know, so that brought me to another stage in my uh, my filmmaking. After that, there was EJ at some point, you know, um, there was um, um, Alter Ego at some point. Now there's Tribunal, you know, so take me to different places and different experiences and different. Um, there's some movies I I haven't even called today that have exposed me to some landmarks in my life that even at that time you didn't think were very big. But because I did that movie, I got something else. You know what I mean? Okay. So that's what I mean when I say it's very intentional. I pick my scripts very, very carefully. I, I don't associate myself with everyone. Because for me, if you're not adding value to me, even as a movie, it doesn't 
it, I don't have to do it. Okay. I'm not hungry. I'm not the richest, yeah, but I'm not hungry either. You know what I mean? Right, so like it has to. It has to add something to me. Yeah, okay. Your children. Are you encouraging them to do movies? I know you got some lovely daughters, uh, <laughs> and you got a son who's doing music as well. Yeah. So are you encouraging them to get into the entertainment? Well, my last son, yeah. he wants to be a movie director, okay. uh, a photographer, movie director. So and better than hang out with Kunle then. Yes, yes, yes. He actually has. Come and do something like internship. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And golden effects. And golden yeah, effects. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'll be starting like, from the top. Do you feel like <laughs> subconsciously you? either influence influence them. them or steer them in that direction so i guess that's natural. natural you know i mean uh if people if people are around you all the time naturally you know they would get influenced by you yeah. um my my sons always wanted to be pilots mm -hmm. at some point uh, you know then also they picked up entertainment oh, yeah. as well so i mean if their father wasn't a pilot they probably wouldn't have thought about that yeah, if true. i wasn't an entertainment they uh, entertainer they probably wouldn't have thought about it so that influences them um, my daughters, my first daughter, she's into tourism and hotel and all of that. She's not okay, really that. My second one, she's into fashion. You know, so okay. that's what it is. All right. All right. Um, we have a message, a tweet from at I am Smith Ebuka too, who says, Morning, guys. You and Genevieve look younger every day. Yeah. Please, what do you guys do? Is it exercise or what? Eat apple. Apple for breakfast. I'm a lot for lunch. I'm a lot for lunch. I'm kind of young for dinner. Thank you for the compliment. Um, I, you know, you need to ask Genevieve what she does. <laughs> Personally, I think I just, I just stay positive. I just stay happy, and I think do watch um, at every given time in your life. Do what you want to do. Yeah, I, I think, think that's I, the best I can I tell you. I think there's a certain gentleman who's a pilot who has some uh, some influence on their happiness as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's cute. See the way she just giggled now. Yeah. <laughs> the way she just giggled now. She gives me, no, but he she gives me peace of mind. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. And you need that. See, I if, 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 so if after all these years of marriage, when, when I mention your husband, you can giggle like that. that the guy, is he just giggle again? That means the guy is doing something right. Something yes. right, yeah. He's a real pilot. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't have to fly. Oh, Anissa. What exactly do you mean by that? I don't even know. He doesn't wear around now. He does not wear around now. Around what? He's a pilot. Ta. Ta. <laughs> okay, interesting. All right, more questions, please. Uh, I am Casey Kid uh, says, Mr. Kunle, what do you think has made you successful? Ah, that's a big question, though. Very well, I, I think it's just dedication mm -hmm. and, um, you know, believing in yourself mm -hmm. and also believing in people around you. And he's very focused, this one. Uh, you know, um, for, I mean, you and I, you know how we're yeah. going now. So once I dream it, it must happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And everything that I have dreamt, every dream about film, you know, that I've dreamt in my life mm -hmm. has come to pass. You know, so, but a lot of, you know, a lot of youth nowadays, you know, when they see the glamour mm. and they, you know, they forget see right. you flying mm -hmm. and sitting in business class, they think, ah, I should be his film, I'll yeah. do the same mm -hmm. thing. No, the consistency mm -hmm. is very key. You they know. see you driving from your castle in, in what? Uh, wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> Let, 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 me say, let, let, Kool, let me say Kulea. Let me say Kulea. You live in Ikoi. You live in Ikoi. Let me 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 since I came here, water, uh, uh, water is terrible. No, I mean, like, we've treated it. I treated it. I can't have a good bath. Yeah. I feel like I need to go back to the mainland and have a scrub yes, and so come back. That's yeah. true, though. Yeah. <laughs> so please, and and so you're, it's, you're, it's, and you're it's not you're not you're not hearing what I'm saying. You know, I say yeah. you know I I I mean this for me this yeah. is it's it's. It's, it's good because yeah. he encourages a lot of I know, people does. to want. A lot of people look up yeah. to you. I mean, uh, yeah. you don't have. It means you don't have to spend your money yeah. doing yeah. certain yeah, things. Yeah, to leave it. You know, the values life, yeah. will come mm -hmm. when, when you work in the is work. good. Yeah. So you just need to put your best, and every other thing will. And you know, be you know, focused. Exactly. <laughs> and speaking of best, uh, oh, someone's asking really you can act you for thirty million naira. Why do you put thirty billion like David O? <laughs> Oh, and I am Casey Kid. Yeah. He didn't put the um, yeah. currency, so we don't yeah. know. He just said, "Can you act need for thirty million? I think it meant naira. Cool, like, that's you. Can I? 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 Can it's not about money for me, right. all right? Um, if, if it was about money, there are so many things I would have done. Yeah. It's not just even about acting nude. Right. I don't do so many things because money does not drive my life. Yeah. What drives my life is value right. and um, adding, you know, just value to myself and to the community. Yeah. If it's a movie that at the end of the day will get me an Oscar, mm.
that I know at the end of the day will take Nollywood to another level. Look, when you are dead, you'll be nude anyway. Okay. Like, what the hell? True, I like that. So why would I wait to be dead? Go to Halle Berry way. Halle Berry. All right. Guys, I want to say thanks for coming through. Thank you very much. Best of luck with the movie. I hope we get I'm not gonna get to see more of you in more films now. now yes, you know, you're fully back now. <laughs> yes. Uh, so Kune, the movie tribunal, yeah, where, where well it's in uh, all the yeah, Silverberg cinemas, mm -hmm. all the film house cinemas, Genesis Cinemas, Ozone, Viva, mm -hmm. Kada, you know, all the cinemas, all cinemas. you know in, in, in Nigeria. And, and the Ghana. Good times are good, so please check online. Yeah, so you can go online also if you follow Golden Effects uh, pictures on, on Instagram. Instagram. Facebook. You follow Real Homo Sexy on uh, Instagram, you mm -hmm. follow Kunle Afo on Instagram mm -hmm. and Facebook. All of this information we post and we update every day. Every time. So there's no excuse. It's a, and weekend is just you know, like tomorrow. Right? Yeah, so and when you take all these pictures of the city, man, and you yes, have any so reviews, don't worry, anything you have in mind, tag us, tag us and <laughs> let us know what you, how you feel, okay. you know. Okay. One last thing, yeah. we're trying to do something, and it's called Albino Makeover. Makeover, yay! Yes, right. okay. So we're going to be inviting, we, we, we're going to shortlist some albinos, mm -hmm. we're inviting albinos from even one day old uh -huh. to 88 years. Yes, I want to do a makeover. Then they can them. send their pictures. Yeah. We're posting that today. Okay. They send their pictures. We we'll select them. Mm. Then we we'll do makeovers. Yeah, we'll put them make in up, costume, makeup, costume, everything, and, everything. and they get gifts yeah. at the end of the day. Right, nice. Just so, so you can see how beautiful they are. Please. A lot of gifts, uh, like uh, right, makeup kits, and, you're fair, but you're not and uh, they can even get a role in uh, our next yeah, film. You, am I right? Um, you do not qualify for a film. get a role. I just want to get yes. a role in the next film. So yeah. They need to know yeah. that. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, nice one. Motel, anything, any last words before you go? Well, I just want to say thank you very much for having us. Uh, mm -hmm. Congratulations yeah. again to Beat Yeah! 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> it's always fun coming here. Yeah. Um, thank you very much for supporting Nollywood. Yeah. I've always said it that Nollywood is going to beat Hollywood. Yes. I've had a lot of people chuckle at it. I've had a people laugh at it. Okay. But wait for it. Yeah, it's coming. Wait it's coming. Don't <laughs> yeah, forget that tribunal is out there all over the country. Tribunal! Uh, yeah, it got superstars in it and golden effects. Make sure. yes. Guys, thanks for coming through. Thank and you uh, hopefully much. you guys come through again and let us know how the movie's done. And for the next oh. one, the next golden effects production. Right. I'm looking forward to it. Maria and I are going to be in it. And Kunle Abi. Yes, yes. So, yes. <laughs> we should in it in the In your castle. In your castle. There's more room in your castle. <laughs> All right. This is Chris Beats. Featuring the scales called Boss Wine. The morning rush continues. <laughs>